example we're looking at the type define uh, keyword at the beginning of struct so we start the same way our uh, code include stdi.h and this time we put type define struct chords okay in the previous example we only used um, struct chords we didn't have the, the type define and we see the, the, the benefit of that now we start the same way x and y just like in the previous example and we are promoting it to point okay so basically point will have that structure it would have the x and y uh, components in its structure okay just like coordinates so points would be some sort of coordinates if you want to put it that way that's another way of saying it now we're saying now we're taking the point and we're pushing it onto top so now top has the same structure as as a uh, as as point so now this is another way of of doing it because it's a type defined so we're defining this with point we do the same again and we this time we're giving it coordinates without saying right x and y is 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 of this value we're doing it as if we're writing up a um, an array okay so point and there's ptm okay which will basically stand for bottom okay but we'll we'll we're saying ptm equals to 2 and 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 15 and 2 is x and 15 is y that's how it would uh, go to it okay so ptm has the same components of x and y as top has x and y we haven't defined uh, sorry we haven't given uh, top any values so top hasn't got any values and ptm has values of 2 and 15 we start in the main function we open it with the curly brace now we're giving it values so we're saying top dot x equals 16 top dot y equals 27 and we're going to print exactly the same way as we did uh, with the previous example the only difference with this example and the other example is that we use the type define okay to do this uh, to borrow the the, 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 the the structure of point into top and to borrow it into PTM if you recall uh, the way we did it before we had to to get to this top part what we did we wrote this instead struct chords top okay that that bit here is the same as that bit here okay so instead of having to write all that we delete this instead of having to write this we delete that and we wrote it as point top okay because we used the, the the we started up with type define at the top there if we didn't then we had to write it the other way that I just showed you right so that bit is done now we're gonna compile and run so we say build no errors fantastic we close this and we go to the command prompt right so what did we call this one we called it type define the struct type struct that's what I called it here okay these are just other examples I've done and it tells us here top we just open it up so we can see it so we, we said the first one we said the bottom was 2 and 15 so let's open it here top uh, sorry the bottom is 2 and 15 as you can see and uh, top X is 16 and bottom and and y is 27 so 16 and 27 so that concludes this example now we're going to look at nesting structures that means structures within structures okay so a structure would hold uh, the, the same components but in structures okay so we start the same way include stdio.h so we can use input and output functions we start with struct chords so coordinates would have x and y okay we are not given any we're not given any uh, other comp uh, name to inherit the stru structure of chords we just leave it at that we'll use that later and now we put start another structure called rect which stands for rectangle okay so we're gonna do 
the, uh, the definition of a rectangle using two structures struct chords PT1 and struct chords PT2 which are PT is basically point so coordinates point 1 and coordinates point 2 so, it's got that, so a rectangle has two components it has a point 1 structure and a point 2 structure a coord two different coordinate points okay and now we we we, we also don't put any uh, any other um, name here so we could have said uh, box here or something like that but we don't do that what we do is we say struct rect box so a box basically takes this structure okay uh, the box takes the structure of a rectangle so it has um, the, the two points we could have wrote it a different way we could have what we could have done we could have just put box here just like you've seen in the, in, in the previous I examples where I had point here and, and all that stuff yeah so we're going to remove that and we're going to do it this way round right so we start the main function we say box dot pt1 so point one of the box the x of it is five so as you can see now we every time we're referring to a different component we put the dot okay so first we say box and we want point one which is here this point so we say right dot pt1 and then we want to refer to this x here so we put point again and x so now we give that a 5 okay so we put a value of 5 in the structure of the x in the first point of the box and also we do that again but this time with a y axis and we'll put 10 and then we put now the second point of the x and y so we can draw the box we put dot pt2 dot x and it gives us 25 and we put another point called point 2 dot y and it gives us 25 again for the, the, the so the x and the y we now have four points that we're, we've, um, we've given to draw a box so this is the coordinates on the graph of a box x x5 and y10 x25 and y25 so these are the coordinates of of the box that we're we're describing here and we're going to print it print it we use printf point one x is 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 is, uh, is going to be five and point and and the y is going to be ten start a new line so here this is how we're printing it off here box dot pt one dot x box dot pt one dot y and it should give us if it works correctly it will give us these values that we've mentioned okay so let's try compiling it and running it and see how it goes okay no problems so let's see what happens when we run it this time it's called nest struct okay so it tells us here point one x is five and then ten and then twenty five twenty five so that works correctly 